not a very good angle <laughs> oh, but I'm really exhausted hello I am very very tired so I will be quick this is a video regarding the CV in ERAS you have to fill the ERAS columns and uh, finally the CV or the application will look like what I will show in this video and I'm really really tired so sorry if I make any mistakes during the video and also uh, I have like black in the parts which have like personal information or the information that I wouldn't like to share on YouTube and it is just a sample and uh, try to make the best application possible try to uh, be brief and comprehensive at the same time it's confusing what I'm saying but you will get to know what I want to convey to you in a few seconds so here we go so this is my ERAS application and uh, I think this is the application that is sent to the programs as well. So as you can see my name and then the AMC ID and after that there is a column with present mailing address and permanent mailing address. I wrote my permanent Indian address here and the present mailing address I used the address of one of my relatives living in New York uh, so that you can also tell the program that I have relatives here and I would really want to match somewhere near where my family and friends are and then the preferred phone and alternate phone number uh, I gave my Indian number as well as I bought a Skype US number so that the programs could reach me on my Skype US number because generally they wouldn't prefer to call an international number then uh, my email ID, make sure to make a separate email ID for ERAS because as soon as you receive an interview, you need to reply because sometimes they have limited slots for the interview. Like they would have 40 slots, but they would send, uh, send out an email to 50 students. And uh, sometimes you need to get one date because you have interview at any other place on the other date or you are working on the other date. So to get the most like wanted date, you need to be the first or the in the like first slot of people to respond to that email. Then your medical edu education. This is from when I started my medical school till I received my graduation degree. And after that, uh, we don't have any other education and membership with an honorary professional society. We don't have any uh, alpha omega alpha chapter at our school or the gold humanism honor society if you have it at your school well and good you can put it here but we didn't i didn't have it in my school and then i was member of the american medical society association and also dma which is the delhi medical association in india and also mamcos which is a part of like mamsi alvinize which is my school and then you, there is a section where you can add any medical school awards that you received during your schooling period. Uh, so I entered my award in medical school and it has limited position, like limited word number. So the leftover awards you can also add at the bottom, which we will see later. Then certifications or licensures, you can add your AC, ACLS and BLS certification here. Let's go to the second page. So on the second page, volunteer experience. Um, you can write whatever volunteer experience you did here. Type from which month, which year to which month, which year. And you also have to mention the average hours you spent per week while doing that activity. And uh, like I worked in Avanti Fellows, which is an NGO. And... Uh, you basically write what you did as part of that NGO and uh, after that uh, I was also the joint literary secretary of the official college body and uh, similarly I prefer bullet points rather than writing a paragraph because it's more clear and it's more organized than writing a paragraph and I would recommend bullet points to everyone who is detailing uh, the activity they performed during the medical school at part, as a part of their curriculum. Then these are the two conferences that I attended. They were international conferences. 
so i wrote what all i did during these conferences and uh, yep how they helped me like be a better person and a better physician and sometimes you can also put like fun stuff represented the indian culture by putting up boots indian deserts dress jewelry and much more let's say yep so that it makes like people interested and you can talk about it in interviews because interviews are not just about academic things it's also about your overall personality and what else you did in your medical school and how you are as a person then here voluntary experience i added my medical school community health projects that i participated like pulse polio organization and also all the others outreach activity that you do as part of your community uh, health uh, subject and as part of your rotation during the third year of your medical school you can add in here then this is the other conference that i did and yep you can write all the things that you did during the conferences after that is the work experience so before that in volunteer experience what do you put in voluntary experience you have to put any outreach community activity or any conferences you participated in uh, which don't fit in work experience so for work experience first is the uh, oh i missed something let me go back so i don't want to share one of the work experience so let's go to the other one uh, it was at university of arizona it was an observership so i wrote what all i did in the observership including academics didactics and how i participated in the rounds and what i learned during the rounds and then i have uh, this mayo clinic elective gast in gastroenterology and as you can see i've written in detail what all i did as part of the rotation and for example, like in the gastroenterology, I performed independent consults. Independent means I was the only person present there during the consults and I talked to the patient independently with very GI pathology and stuff with the attending and uh, wrote the consults and follow up notes. And after that, actively participated in discussion of the management of the patient. I performed the workup of multiple new and follow up patients in outpatient settings and observed EGDs, coronoscopies, uh, also gave presentation on these two topics and attending intended various didactics. And this is another con uh, like elective that I did at UAB in bone marrow transplantation. So I wrote about it. And then during my NIH elective at hepatology, I did many presentations. So I wrote about the presentations that I did and what all I learned during those meetings and elective rotation. And after that, this is my internship experience. Um, where is it? Yep. This is my internship experience. And I have written like multi-specialty clinical internship because we did internship in various subjects from medicine to surgery to psychiatry, ophtha, pediatrics, etc. And after that, what I learned during my internship. And uh, this is my Johns Hopkins elective and I have written like about the research things that I did and what all techniques I learned there and how, how it helped me be uh, how it helped me be a better like researcher as well as clinician yep. and then uh, some research experience that I got and after that there is a section where you can like after the research experience uh, you also have a section of publications and in publications you can mention your published ones first and then other than published which you have submitted you can mention in other than published uh, this one got published recently but this one it got rejected so it doesn't matter you did it write in it then post a presentation which you had done in any like conference or something oral presentation that you have done during your clinical rotations or at any uh, like significant conference or you can mention it there then there is a section of hobbies hobbies are a very important part of your application and it shows what you're interested in and how uh, you can bring flavor to your application and flavor to the program as well like and after that, 
this is these are just the common questions that they have like which language and how good you are and uh, as I was saying that there is limited section for you to type so if there are any other awards or anything you can type in uh, in this section which is other awards or accomplishment and that's all for your CV and ERAS all the best it's nerve-wracking but you got this all the best for the application cycle.